have talked a lot about uh, TK and his improvement over the last. Who? Uh, Arthur, Arthur and Dean. Oh, TK. Tuan. TQ. TQ. My bad. Um, you know what have you been seeing from him over these last three weeks? He's been doing a good job, stepping in, um, making some big plays for us in his second year. You know, just growing as a pro and uh, somebody that's uh, early in camp that's going to have a great season this year. He's starting off on the right foot. Have you noticed, I, I know we talked about it a little bit a couple weeks ago, have you noticed teams doubling you the same amount as last year? Is it a little bit less, you feel like? Or? I mean, I don't know. I just feel like at this point we're just talking about the same thing. You know, I got to do a job regardless of how that look and um, do it at a high level. And, you know, that, that is what it is. Dean said today he thought Nick and uh, Kareem Hunt were the best duo he'd seen. Mm -hmm. uh, where do they rank on your list? I mean, you know, I mean, Coach P seen a lot more football than me. So yeah. if he say they up there, they up there. And they real deal running backs. Uh, Nick Chubb, you know, strong, been strong for a long time. Kareem Hunt been strong for a long time. And them together, they just get better. You know, I'm sure they feed off each other. Um, got a great offensive line and run behind. And um, it's going to be a heck, heck, heck of a challenge. Do you like these guys? I like all football games. What are some of the things, uh, you know, facing getting ready, well, that you all got to do to get ready for the Browns? Do, do what we do. Um, you know, go out there, play the game. You know what I'm saying? So uh, it's a physical game, and that's what you want. And, uh, you know, be able to do it. There's a few teams that have, like what Josh was saying, the kind of one-two that they do. Mm -hmm. What's that like as a defensive lineman? Because, you know, sometimes when a second back comes in, you're like, all right, this guy I know is more of a pat, you know, a receiving back, or this guy's more a different style back, or these two guys, it seems like that could be a lot for a defense and a defensive lineman play after play. I mean, you got to be ready, you know, each play, you know. And it's fortunate for them and their team to have two high-level high backs like that. And, uh, you know, you can't complain with that. But at the end of the day, you know, you got to play the play. And, you know, um, you know, everybody got rotations and stuff like that. But... It's definitely a challenge, and then they both do well as far as catching the ball and running the ball, too. So you can't really get a beat off of, you know, he's in the catch, he's in the run. So, I mean, they, they're fortunate to have, you know, two guys like that. And, uh, you know, as a defensive lineman, you just got to do your job, play whatever coming in the game. Is that, is that a more difficult mental challenge, though, for a defensive lineman than, than some other teams? Oh, not for like that's fishing. I mean, it's football. It, it, no, no team just has one running back. So, but these guys are special dudes. We, we, we established that, you know. And um, so every play, you got to be ready. You know what I'm saying? And um, so I think not just on the, on the not on just on the defensive line level of play, the whole defense. You know? And um, so I mean that presents a challenge in itself. And um, that's that's I think it's going to take everybody. Hey, getting um, I know y'all moved on, but how big can it be to stack off of that win last week when the defense goes out? Lowe gets a sack, you get a sack, Richard gets an interception. Um, Close that out. Right? Yeah, yeah. Um, but that was pretty big. Yeah, you said it. Definitely want to move on, but at the same time, don't don't want to uh, not acknowledge the the you know special events that it was and ending the game on defense and how good it did feel. You know, being a defensive player here and wanting wanting the best for the team. And at the end of the day, that's a win. So um, so definitely want to stack off that momentum and continue to grow and learn from things that we can be better at and. Um, you know, at the end of the day, make more plays when you're there.